here we go again with stage 19 of the Tour de France on Pro Cycle on Tour de France 2016. Top place this in four. To everyone from Albertville to Saint Chevalier Mont Blanc. Uh, pretty short mount stage this one, not the longest, so be a bit quicker to get through. I probably won't be much action this time until the final cat one climb. I'll try to play it a bit safe this time. Uh, keep my rider from the peloton and hopefully they can help me up the final climb to Mont Blanc. Okay, 10 panning climbs to go now, only one climb to remain up Mont Blanc. Right now I have put the view up ahead of me at the moment. I'm sitting uh Jean Gustave Perrault to uh, protect me. Hopefully he will. And then it's just up to me to find a good pace to sit at. And then hopefully he'll get up ahead of me here and protect me. I have put Survivor up ahead, he's been getting some mountain points. Hopefully, he'll win the mountain jersey now. He's won the 8C climb and the 2 category 1 climb, so I think he got a good amount of points. Of course, if Buddy wins this stage here, he'll get double points for the mountain finish on this category 1 climb. But I still think Put is taking over the mountain jersey again. So let's see here. We have Energel, but it hasn't really gone that fast so far. There's still a big pelt in here. Um, Roger is now setting the pace here. Quintana is way up front in the Pelton here. He's, he had a little bit of an attack on the flat section here. Pinot now, Contador moving. I think that's Valbert in number 12 there. But it's Roger setting the pace right now. I think it's Pozzo Vivo. Ahead of Ryan Tame and uh, launched and down from the breakaway up front. It's Shinny, Olang, and Ryder Hesidal in the breakaway. I think they'll get caught all of them. I don't think this will be another stage for the Pelton to decide the winner of. So this is where I would like Perot to stay ahead of me for as long as possible now. Protecting me and keeping on protecting me here. Because then now I can uh, switch and say now put to vivo should protect me. And hopefully he will then. <laughs> we just all got blocked by each other because but the view was blocked to get down to me and then everybody's pace just went to zero for one second there. Right just and who is it? Is it Micah next to him? It's Koisuka of course. I think Mike is protecting Control if he's still in the Pelton at all. And Apple 2 is setting a tough pace up the climb here. 4.2 is not the steepest part here. But he's going fast. You can see he's standing up in his pedals here. Leading me out at the moment. 31, Villamour has fallen off. Barclan has fallen off. Etsy got a bit of a gap. Now Quintana has to close the gap up to me here. And that cost energy. It's better to be, sitting, to be not closing the gap there because then you can just sit on the wheel of Quintana. Because it all goes, Nibali goes, Everest conditions today, so I'm not exactly going to be dominating, but I'm not going to get dropped immediately either with these tough uh, tempos at the moment here. Contador now going solo away. I increase the pace a little bit more. 22 riders still remaining in the Pelton here. Put two of his stun. I could have used an energy on him, but I decided not to here. Quintana and Froome go again. Go after Contador, Contador here again, Aru, Valverde, everybody attacking the left and right right now. I think I'm just going to go full energy here and let's see what happens after this. I have my energy gel so I think I can actually maybe handle this otherwise I, I can slow down of course if I'm going a bit too fast for now. And we catch up the breakaway here and it's Quintana going away now solo, Froome, Contador, Aru. Nibali is still here, all of them. Pinot's gone now. Pinot's tr been dropped. Contador, Froome, Aaron, Nibali, and Quintana are like 8 seconds ahead of us here. And of course, Roman Badet. Probably the biggest surprise of all of these riders being here. But he's well ahead. He's in the yellow jersey now and he's doing his best to defend it. I've actually dropped them all now. Only Quintana. I think Quintana's in great shape as well. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have been ahead like this at this point. Take my energy here now at 2.4 kilometers to go. Caught up with Quintana. I'm going to go straight past him. Let's see if he can follow me. Pinot's actually in, in, 
in the second group now he's gone past Froome, Cazador and Nibali Aro has been dropped even more so Bino's done the climb a bit more reasonable than the rest it seems Bino is coming up right now he's going so fast great states for Pinot here he's gaining time on everybody else in apart from of course me and Quintana Wow, he's almost gotten up now. He's doing great. He must be in... I think he's in great shape here. And I think I'll win the sprint here again. Yeah, I did win it. Pinot takes seconds and then both seconds. Uh, Quintana third. Froome just gets maybe a few seconds on Contador and then Nibali in sixth place before Aru. Uh, another statesman, I think we got sixth or seven or something like that now. It's crazy with... Oh my buddy. There's still one more chance for us, of course. I don't think we're winning on Champions League, so I think one more chance on stage 20 to end off with another stage win. But let's take a look at the new overall standings, as I'm pretty sure we have now secured the yellow jersey. And we end up winning the stage, gaining, of course, 5 seconds on Pinot and Quintana plus bonus seconds, half a minute on Froome, a few more seconds on Contador and Nibali, and so on. But it doesn't really matter anymore. I think we've pretty much secured. Uh, we're not going to lose this choice. Pinot was an excellent shape, Quintana was an excellent shape, and we still managed to beat them. Even Consador was in great shape. We were probably one of the worst today, apart from, yeah, Froome, of course. But uh, let's take a look at the overall standing. 634 has Froome is also pretty much guaranteeing himself second now, unless he has a bad condition tomorrow, and Consador or anybody else has a great condition. I don't think he's going to lose second place here. Portoviro has taken the mountain jersey. I'll put him in the breakaway again tomorrow just to secure it, but it's at least staying on, in the team because a Froome can get enough points unless he goes in the morning breakaway to uh, win this. Park jersey, we've won this as well. White jersey is going to Bagil. Team reasons, we are still in fifth, and that one probably won't change. Only competition here is between Sky and Astana, pretty close there as well. Competitive, Portugal will win this since I'll put him in the breakaway again tomorrow. And yeah, this is just the money. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Tomorrow is stage 20. I think that's an HD category climb at the finale. Uh, ends downhill, of course. Two category 1 climbs and starting off on a category 2 climb. It's a pretty short stage, so there's a lot of action to see there as well. But uh, we, of course, will show the last few kilometers again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for the final non-stage of Tour de France 2016. Goodbye.